Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live and I'm happy to be reviewing today how to work with solutions and cases in Zoho CRM. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this, this subject or anything else related to Zoho. Be sure to rate this class also to help out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the main points we'll be talking about today. Customer service in Zoho can be managed either by solutions or cases, and the direction you go um, really depends on how, what your resources are, and you also can use both of these. So solutions is basically a knowledge base for commonly asked questions, while cases are tickets that are managed by a person or a user. So let's go into Zoho, and I'll show you a little bit more on how you can use it. So as you can see here, we have on the home page, and Solutions is one of the modules that we have. And if you go down within Solutions, you can see that there are different solution titles, um, who they were asked by, the status, the question, and who it's been answered by. So let's look at one that actually has an answer. So let's take this testing blueprint. So in this case, um, the status here of this is that it's been answered. That you can have it in draft form, reviewed, answered, updated, or duplicated. So in this case it's answered. Um, the solution owner is one of our two users and you can always change it um, and select a new user as well if you want to move the owner of this to someone else. Um, you can have comments on a case. You have the um, solution number as a reference and you show who, who it may have been modified before. Then you have the solution title, um, the status again, who was asked by, who was answered by, and then you have the solution owner, um, again, with the live admin here, and some of the other information we talked about. So the question here is how do I do this? And you know, it, it can be edited, but it, maybe you want to clarify it for the future. And then the answer is here too. You just click here and someone can always go in and add more. And then if you um, wanted to, you can add comments as well. Um, but you need to move to edit mode to be able to add a comment to this. And you would do that right here. So let's say, for instance, um, maybe you come in here and you don't think that answer gives you enough information. You can add more um, information in here as a comment, or if you think that there should be something else to that. And it just keeps enhancing the, the value of the answers in that solution. Um, and just going back here, you can add notes and you can add attachments. And if we go back out to here, um, you can see that you know another status is reviewed. So in this case, with this um, solution, the solution is in here. It's the um, it's been reviewed but no one's answered it yet so or they've answered it but it hasn't been considered they didn't change the status to answer it in this case um, so you can do that and then if you decided you wanted to add in your own solution there are a few different ways you can do this you can click on the plus button and you can add a solution title um, testing data draft since you're just putting it in, you can just leave it in draft. Asked by, you can decide if you're the one who's asking it. Um, you know, you can put yourself in or you don't have to put anything in. And then answered by, whoever answers it should put it in there because then that's just easy for other people. And then the solution owner will automatically be you coming in here um, and putting this in here. So then you can go in and you have to um, you have to put in a question and then if you want to you can go in and you can say use this and you can always just have something there and if you want to add a comment you know reminding them of something else but you can't really use a comment until you create the solution itself so then you can save this I'll just put in um, someone there and then you can see that you have um, that you have the, the solution here. And then you can show the current state, and you can transition it to answer mark duplicate if you know that it's already been answered somewhere else, 
or add a comment here. Um, but then you can see, we'll get into that in a minute, but you can see here, you can um, see you know, what the information is looking like here. If you wanted to attach something, you can attach something. Um, and what you can do here is you can transition. You can notice that um, there's no, you want to answer it. So you want to answer it here. And then you can see the answer is here. You can pick who you want to show that answered it and save it. And then you could see that it's partway done with it being answered. Um, I'm just going to put, again, a name in here. And then because you put the name in, it's now categorized as answered in the status here. There are other ways that you can, um, you can also import. Um, if you wanted to import solutions, you can do that by having a file and bringing that file in. The only requirements here with that, uh, like any, importing any data, you would need to have the fields matched um, to the fields within your solution, the solution module. And then another thing you can do is that you can um, select, if, if you have maybe a subject that, um, that has many, you know, can have very slight variations on it, and you take your time and you've written up this whole answer and solution, and you know you just need to make a few edits on it. What you can do is you can click on this, or you can open the open this to the the solution, and then you can click on the elliptis, the three dots, and do clone, and then you can go in and easily make changes. Like for instance, what if this answer had a lot to, was similar? You can clone something so you don't have to start from scratch again. And that's really um, it for solutions. And then once you have it, you have here you have this database and you have it accessible. Um, you have this list view, tabular view, and then you can also have this in a Kanban view, and you can make your own settings on maybe what information you have here. Um, and then here, this is in the status, so maybe you end up answering this one, so then you can move it over um, to the next side as well, and sometimes this just makes it easier to work with, with the solutions. Now, the other way that you can handle customer service is with cases. Um, now let me do a search here and bring up the cases module. And when you open cases, I'll just open one now, you can see that it's typically tied to a product. You would want a product in here. Um, the case, I'm going to actually do edit here so we can see this for sure. So you can have this tied to a product. Um, maybe we have a better widget, the type. Um, is it a problem? Is it a feature request? Or is it a question? Say a prop. Uh, case origin. How do we find out about this case? Was it an email? Was it by phone? Was it by web? You can have it who it's related to as a contact. You can have it related to an account as well. Um, a deal name, if you want to have it by a deal name. Um, and the case owner will automatically be you unless you sign in as, um, unless you decide to move it to someone else, which you can do as well. Um, the status of the, of the case, it's either new, it's been escalated because based on maybe some escalation rules you have, um, nobody's answered it, so it's gone on to the next level. On hold or closed, priority, high, medium, or low, case reason, um, you can you know, have different different types of reasons in there. Subject, you always have to have a subject for your case. Uh, who it was reported by, you can add something there. The email, etc. And then you have the description, and you put in here the description of what what the challenge, what what the meaning of the case is, and then you can put in a solution under here as well. Now, although this is a term solution like um, the solutions module. These solutions are not tied to the solutions module because here you are the person handling the case and you're entering in what that solution is. But then somebody else can always add a comment later on and then you would see a summary of, of the comments. So I'm going to get out of this. And then again here you can always clone a case if you have multiple cases maybe under the same person or related cases, so you don't have to start adding all the information in. And then you can see here, we can see across, you could see the case owner, 
you could see um, the different subjects and all that. And so really the big difference between a solution and a case is that the case is more of a live, um, live issue going on and the solutions is more of a knowledge base or reference guide um, to help you to help you um, look for what can be a, an answer to a, an issue that you're facing. So let's just go back to our key takeaways. Um, and so as I mentioned, you can handle customer service in Zoho on a basic level, either by managing through solutions or cases. You can be more advanced and um, purchase Zoho um, Desk, which would give you a, a more advanced customer service. But within the Zoho CRM, it's solutions or cases. Solutions are a knowledge base for commonly asked questions, and cases are tickets that are managed specifically by a person. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our library for other training videos like this one. And if you have any other suggestions for classes or questions about Zoho, feel free to email us at support at Thank you for watching.